Hello everyone, today we are recording something really different, which is different to gaming. It is like we are doing an unexpected thing. I just made a book about animals and why not to t show you how it is. It's actually prehistoric animals though, really interesting. So let's go to the next slide, it's actually a PowerPoint presentation. Ooh, I'm like an office person. Why, yes I am. Excuse me. Yes. No, don't bite me, don't bite me please. Okay, uh, don't get scared, this is just a Spinosaurus. And it's also rumored to be a quadrupod. Many people believe it is, but it's actually not on this photo. And lots of people like, think it's like a quadrupod and everything, but it's not. And it's really carnivorous. It has, it has a claws and it has the mouth to bite. And it's also very unique. That's why it's really unique because it has claws and uh, biting thing. It ha it can bite and also swipe at things. It has a upper. Ha uh, it doesn't have the upper hand as a T Rex though. That's the king of the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are different to flying uh, things. I'll just talk about that later. This is the largest carnivore, but isn't the best carnivore. It but this dinosaur is also a good bite force and all that. But it's the largest uh, carnivorous thing on land. But the largest carnivore is something else. It's in this list. So beware. And it likes to hunt fish because it can go inside the water. And I find that really terrifying. And I do not want to stumble upon these things. If I had a time machine, I would not go back to the dinosaurs and just pet this thing in the face. It's going to um kill me. Of course it's going to. It's carnivorous. And the downs, its weak point is open for a dinosaur to bite. Like one time, we uh, one time the scientists found a fossil of uh, a dinosaur biting the uh, da this dinosaur's spine, which would hurt because if I was a spinosaurus, I would pick that as my weak point. Not really, but physics, everyone, physics. And this also is it's uh, this is similar to a erator and a baryonyx. The, those both are in its family, but Baryonyx is in Baryonite family and uh, Irritator in the Spinosaur family. Irritator, whatever it is. It's a weird name though, but nice name. It's kind of irritating to say that name. And I forgot to tell the weak point. Its weak point is its spine. It's, it's called Spinosaurus. Of course, it has a big spine. Unless it would be called the long skulled t-rex thing but more less powerful i find that really weird that it's less powerful so yeah if you want to hear its roar again here you go rip t-rex fanboys who like the t-rex roar i think i think this is actually too loud that's why that's what makes it scary am i clicking my webcam no i'm not Ooh, flying bird thing. Flying thing. This is a Quetzalcoatlus. This is actually the largest bird species. And it, of course it's a carnivore because why not? This thing, this thing looks terrifying. Absolutely. And uh, it it's so terrifying. It's like one of those mysterious creatures. Those mysterious creatures. Everyone puts a top 10 mysterious mysteries unsolved like those things this is like one of those but like it could see a giraffe into its eyes and peck it like that's really brutal and uh, you don't know how big this is like you you think it's like the size of um a human like that's all but no it's the size of the giraffe and why why would it be the size of giraffe i get it because it's the biggest bird the largest is the largest i know that but seriously that's ridiculous and uh, to just to point it out, this is not a dinosaur, it's a pterosaur. Most of you already know that, but very much of the population don't know that this is not a dinosaur. And everyone's going to be like, start spam in the comments. No, this is a dinosaur. No, uh, uh. no, it's it's actually it's actually um not a dinosaur. This is a pterosaur. Look, uh, look inside. Everyone is saying it's a pterosaur, and pterosaurs are different from dinosaurs. Pterosaurs are like those flying type of dinosaurs, but they're not dinosaurs uh, also. 
and this is also a bad parent and i'll tell you why because like when a hatchling just hatches when it becomes a big it just throws it off the cliff to fly like that's really cruel and uh, if it can't fly it don't even look and get some other hatchling to throw and torture okay then that's just too brutal but still it does the exact same thing some quetzal cutlers are really good parents but some are not you never know what the world will take you to and what i find scary of this because i told in that this scary slender um giraffey flying giraffe thing is going to dive on you opening its mouth like just like an eagle but eagle is less uh, uh, scary and all that now moving on yee one of my favorites this is the mosasaurus oh my god why won't you stop roaring it's not funny okay then this is the mosasaurus mosasaurus have a lot of teeth but it's not more teeth than something else in this list which is bigger than the mosasaurus and the most bite force in the prehistoric days that was the biggest thing ever like one of the biggest thing maybe biggest thing not biggest chitulu and hydra okay then this is not a dinosaur at well it's a as well this is a mosasaur a mosasaur is different from a dinosaur actually mosasaurs are like plesiosaurs mosasaurs and plesiosaurs are the closest thing to reptiles and did you know that it it forces uh, the if because it's a reptile the closest thing to a reptile it has to go up and get air crazy right i i thought it was going to do that and then after that it um, it has to breathe i watched some facts about it and actually has to breathe this is the all this may be the king of the aquatic but as i said there's something bigger and better in this and has the most bite force so rip mosasaur fans don't spam in the comments just like i said with the t-rex and the t-rex is the king of the dinosaurs and um, not really the king of the dinosaur not the most powerful is the most powerful carnivorous dinosaur which this isn't a dinosaur this is a reptile and um forget about the things on this thing i thought it had more tooth than something else that was a surprise in this list and actually it used to have this one so sorry i derped okay then let's move on if you want to hear it cry and do some things and dance here you go are you going to roar more yes you are please roar more good you going to roar more why you got to roar so much Okay, so let's move to the next slide. Excuse me, you're going to move to the next slide. Oh, I do not like this one. This no, it stops crying. It makes me sad. That that was really creepy. And uh, if you don't know what this woolly mammoth thing is, it's a uh, just an elephant but with fur. As I said, woolly mammoth. Can you see woolly? I am pointing my mouse on it. The green thing is going on it. It's woolly mammoth, and mammoths are always woolly, but we call it woolly only. It's like an elephant, but much more bigger tusks and much more um, nice and more beast-ish. And it was after the dinosaurs in the Ice Age or before the dinosaurs, maybe before the dinosaurs. I don't know. Okay, this is bigger and fatter than the uh, elephant. and uh, elephants are actually really a little bit boring so when uh, and uh, we are also making a mission north korean or south korean uh, which one whichever one is making a mission to uh, make a woolly mammoth come back to life i know that's really crazy but they're also doing that to dinosaurs once they did it for a parasaurolophus and uh, it actually failed when the dinosaur just came it actually worked but then after that it died immediately ooh that made me really shocked and all that scary but really really um happy make, uh, makes me happy that the dinosaur came back but it died afterward and uh, if you want to know how this died it like frozen sometime and then after that people are digging the body that's why you see a mammoth dna and all those things and get those dna from african e elephants and all those things it's really complicated and 
I would love to hug a mammoth. That sounds really weird, but I like to hug elephants. Oh, what's wrong with me? Okay then, this this is much fatter. I like to hug fat things like uh, Argentina sausage, which is in my list actually, and it actually is really nice looking and cute. I really want to hug a mammoth. So yeah, let's go and hear the creepy voice again. Why do I find this creepy? Uh -huh. I have to shut up. I do not like that. Please stop. Thank you. Stop crying. Good. Do do do. The biggest, the biggest, the most bite forces megalodon. This, this look like a, a normal shark. A megalodon is a giant shark. And the thing that I thought was really uh, mind shocking is. It has the most bite force in the whole um, prehistoric thing. That's crazy. But the most thing that does the most damage is the Argentinosaurus. Like, you get crushed by one of those things, you are not going to get your body back. Not unless your sp spirit comes back. And that's not going to happen. So this is a Megalodon. And this, this is actually maybe alive. That's how strong it is. Some of the ocean is not explored. Some is like the bloop sound or something. They put that always put that same image of a giant whale swallowing a man. That's really creepy. I find it more creepy than this thing. And did you know that this could swallow a whole uh, bus in it could swallow a whole bus with a lot of humans on it. That's really crazy. That's how giant this is. And it can also bite a whale uh, if two bites on a whale and the whale dies. That's really, really, really powerful. And you don't know how powerful it is. Powerful than a T-Rex. And a T-Rex is supposed to be the most powerful. This is a powerful. Oh, I'm saying powerful so much time. But this is really powerful. That shows. And splashing on the water. Taking a bath. Okay, you're clean enough. Except for your scars. Yes, thank you for taking a bath in my video. Let's go. Oh, okay then, stop it, saber tooth. Saber tooth? This is a saber tooth. It used to be there after the dinosaurs died. And this is not the top apex predator when the dinosaurs weren't there. When the dinosaurs were extinct, there are things called uh, prehistoric ice age things. This is not in the ice age, but it was there with the uh, terror birds. Terror birds are really creepy. But you'll, you'll going to know that if you watch BBC News and all those. And the funny thing is, this is a cat. Now don't, don't spam the comments like, the lion is really good and not, then this is the never, next level of heart attack. Like really it is. Like look at his tooth. But sadly, his tooth is actually really fragile. Once it gets into prey, it like digs too much in. And then when the when the saber tooth cat like lifts it up, its teeth is gone, and now it becomes an old grandpa and grandpa, the grandpa and grandma. I meant. So yeah, let's see how beautiful and majestic it is by clicking this voice button. That's actually really creepy because of the echo of this sound. <coughs> oh no, it's a dodo. Better run away. It's so cute. Okay then, this is a dodo, as I told in the morning, uh, in the morning, <laughs> in the morning, <laughs> and this is a uh, dodo, it's really harmless birds, and they got extinct sadly, but they were there when humans were there, which is actually really um, sad that it got extinct by humans. Why do they have to extinct this cute thing? Why don't you find anything, this dodo is actually an innocent thing, pat pat. Okay then, I think it's cute, but I don't know about you guys because of this image is from Ark, not sponsored. If you can even get sponsored by Ark, let's go and hear how beautiful it is. <coughs> yeah, it's like the terror bird, and this is the terror bird. Totally terrifying. Look how terrifying it is. Uh, I do not want to watch this. The echo is also really scary. This is like a evil dodo, but like longer, better. This is actually nine, um, nine um, inches long, nine uh, feet long, and its width is eighteen inches long. So this is really creepy and tall. 
and I would not like to stumble upon these things. These things are really violent. And I was talking about the terror. These were the top apex predator when the dinosaurs were extinct. After the dinosaurs, there's the ice age and all those things. This was the top apex predator, and it it has a lot of technique. And one kick from those beautiful moa feet, and then you're going to you're going to break all your bones in the body. You're going to break all of those two. Hundred and something bones in your body. So beware; these things still may be alive. Not really, though. They're extinct. What am I talking about? Okay, then let's see how it bashes beak with its bottom thing. I wonder how it makes these sounds. Sounds like a modern-day parrot. Let's move on. Excuse me. You going to move on? Oh. Sorry, this is the Argentinosaurus. This is the biggest of the biggest. This is actually really protective of his babies, and this is the biggest creature to walk on land. And uh, the there's also earthquake master, which is not actually this. The Sauroposeidon. The Sauroposeidon is a different dinosaur. It's a sauropod. So many dinosaurs are sauropods, but Sauroposeidon. It's just like the Mosasaurus, but like it's the main part of Sauropos, uh, Sauroposeidon. Oh, what am I talking about? Mosasaurus, uh, Mosasaurus is Mosasaur main, and Sauroposeidon is Sauropod main. There we go. And I'm surprised that this one isn't the Earthquake Master. I mean, look at this. It doesn't look really big, but it's the biggest of the big. And look at his derpy face. Oh, I would like to hug it so bad. Unless it smacks me with his tail. You know, one time in those BBC, um, BBC cartoons of that for kids, they put like that Gigantosaurus um, biting that tail. First time that the uh, some uh, sauropod just sees it, it just it kills it. So I would not like to hug a sauropod when it when it's threatened. Let's see how beautiful it is anymore. I thought it's going to be like a trumpet, just like the Ankylosaurus. So let's move on. And this is a really important message that I will say. So get ready. Oh, this is not the important message. The really important message is here too. Oh, so cute. Nine banded armadillo. Pat, pat. These are actually not extinct, but the the message is stop hunting these animals. These are endangered animals, and they may be extinct, but they're not actually. Um, they may be because this is modern days, and I don't see any armadillos these uh, modern days, and they actually eat these things. Why would I eat this thing? No, I want to, I want to, I want to pat it. So this is my real important message: to stop animals facing extinction like what did they ever do to you like if they threaten you or something i get to know like, i know like you have to do self defense but really they did nothing to you just like this armadillo so i want to tell you a message to stop animal abuse and they may get extinct if you uh, like abuse them too much so uh this is what you learned in my thing stay good goodbye goodbye thank you